Stuttgart, Saturday the 19th of January 2019. This is the CMT Trade Fair. This is the stand of Balcamp, who make uh, motorhomes and camper vans uh, uh, based in Gdansk. Uh, I've, now, I've got to make this quite clear these people are friends of mine. I'm friend, not friends on most stands, but I do know these people particularly well. And therefore, of course, I am biased. So you've got to bear that in mind about anything I say. Uh, so, um, I want to show you around. Now, I uh, did a, uh, a video on this van in Warsaw uh, three months ago, and I said that this was one of my favorite vans, and it's really nice. I mean, it was a, I'm not doing special editions, right? Because that's right, well, you say special editions, some of these, you know, Heimer or Deathlifts or uh, now or something, these special edition, and because so, it's, uh, it's on their production, they've got proper production lines. Now here, you know, they've got some positions from which they work and then they, they actually convert. I mean, most people are converting to order. Uh, anyway, there's people inside, you'll have to see that on another film. Um, Mercedes, let's go and have a look at this one here, which, uh, there you go, it's got a high roof, a camper van in the roof, they've got the bed, so, so that, that's the point of putting the roof up that high. Alternatively, I think I just, I just take the hot top off completely, put a, put one like that on. That, that makes more sense to me. But anyway, um, but it's got a small footprint, and uh, for, for a camper van. Now they've done things here on MAN base as well, as well as Mercedes. And uh, oh, so I'll show you the. There's the uh, mosquito, the mosquito net in action here. Have a look through the window. Pretty handy getting a uh, mosquito. Now I'll take you inside. This thing is naughty in here. Right, we've got the bed up there. In the roof, comes down, makes a lot of space, and, and you've got a bed at the back there. Okay, the table could be a bit bigger, I suppose. But there's not a lot of room in here. You've got a fridge down there. You've got um, what do you call that? A um, wardrobe there, and uh, let's go into the toilet. There you go, wet room, nice and bright. Toilet there with some stuff always stuck down. I just like to point out for the record that you're supposed to actually pour it out. You don't put the whole bottle down. Anyway, that part uh, obviously it's made to order. You might say, "Oh, I'll have one of them," but I want a um, a uh, skylight in the uh, roof, and so they'll do that for you. But hey, that's nice and bright, though, isn't it? Wouldn't be like that for long once I started to use it. But anyway. I'm always cleaning my toilet and the, uh, so the bathroom and the van, whereas I, it's home. I don't think really clean it so much. Anyway, right, uh, you've got right, cap cabinets under here, kitchen, sort of standard, sort of two burners, and all that. Okay, let's come out. Right, this is an MAN. I actually uh, uh, I saw this van when it was empty, in, in uh, completely empty, there was nothing inside it. Uh, but they had put the roof bit on, and I said, all right, I'm going to film that. Uh, and then there was a problem getting the lights. Now, I do have lights in my van, and so uh, I meant to bring them. And uh, anyway, so it's a 4x4, four 7-meter four, long MAN. Uh, we'll have a look at this. This is also an MAN. Oh, I can get in now. <laughs> and so, outdoor table. Uh, we've got... Okay, uh, seats, uh, seats around the table, what's going on? There's the bed up there, as you see, works well. So you've got a telly up there, so you can watch the telly in bed. If you, I mean, if there's, if there's nothing on your uh, your mobile phone, you can watch the telly. So, uh, and, okay, you may think that looks a bit squashed, but it's thin. And the thinner it is, the easier it is to drive. There is possibly a maximum height, which is possibly on three meters twenty, according to a friend of mine. So you wouldn't really want to go over that. But I, you know, if you can go up to and use uh, that type of height, then that's a pretty good idea. We'll come right to the very back here, so you can see a bit more. Oh, bird's coming down. It's uh, 
get the bed in the film while the bed comes down. Show, show how that works. And you can see there the amount of space you've got up there. There's your telly. And another thing I would actually point out, you've got this space here which is, uh, you may say, oh, is that dead space? No, I would say not because it helps, you, first of all, you get into bed. Uh, there's a lad, space for a ladder there, of course. I, I mean, I wouldn't use it. I, I, can't, I can no longer pull myself up that height. Uh, when I was in the army, I didn't have any problem doing pulling myself up that height. But um, I've, I've got up with practice. You can stand on the chair, and you can stand on the chair there, and you can get in. That'll be that'll be okay. And also, you can nip into the uh, toilet during the night as well, because to the left of me, that shouldn't be any difficulty. MAN was uh, released at uh, here this fair in camp the campaign form at in set, uh, sorry um, January 2018. Um, there are one or two companies, not just here, Balcamp's done it, but uh, Knaus have also done a 4x4 um, uh, MAN. So it, it looks, I know, it looks like Volkswagen, Volkswagen actually own MAN, they bought all the shares, I think it was like 2013, 2014, something like that. Although they had a very sizable amount of the company earlier as well. So, uh, good, good. Oh, I think that's it, my favourite. See, they see the, um, what do you call that? Marquis. Um, the awning, sorry, the awning's out. This one, you know, several languages. I know I, uh, when I hear my own films and I'm speaking, because obviously a normal, uh, normal talk, I don't want to actually listen to myself, but um, I, I, when I'm correcting things, I'm editing the films, and I hear that I sometimes use words in foreign languages when I'm speaking, and I don't necessarily realise Okay, right, so let's go and have a look at the uh, final two vans, if we can get in them, that is. If not, well, you just have to see them in individual films that I've done elsewhere. Let's see if we can get in this one. Probably not. Anyway, if I, if I run past these people here, oh, two, there you are. Right, there's, a, there's Tristoff in there. And uh, oh, you can see through the window. Um, you see, see the back of it. Oh, hey, doors open. So I'll get a look in from the inside. This I haven't fin f filmed individually, as it was just a shell when I saw it last. Note the double lockers. Hey, no one else does that. This is what you can do with height. See, you've got all of that space. They've done a lengthwise bed. Uh, that'll be for, for the tall market, such as here in Germany. Right, I'll come out. And uh, actually, I think that this one here deserves more uh, more time. And I'll, I'll do an individual one. I'll come back <laughs> later. You see, you put this this bit at the top entirely, running the whole length. So they sawed the top off, or took the top off, and put that thing on up there in this place. Right. Well, I'll just I'll finish off with my, uh, what I say was one of my favourite vans <laughs> and uh, this one here, well we're not going to get in it, uh, there's people in here. This is, you know, see, this is the problem, I can either, I can either walk around when there's stacks of people uh, hanging around or I can come in when there's some uh, Michael Jackson or the Queen or uh, whoever um, uh, on the loudspeakers when people are cleaning up. It's, 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 it is somewhat difficult, but anyway. That'll give you an idea of what there is to see here. Um, I would like to have brought this film out uh, during the trade fair. Um, problem is, I'm trying to film things rather than stick things up on the internet, and so it has to wait. You know, from here, um, 
I'll possibly go do a couple, visit a couple of places in Germany. Uh, I've got a couple of factories to go to. Uh, then I'll go, might go to the trade fair in Dresden. I'll, so I'll get back uh, to my base sometime uh, towards the end of January, and then I'll um, I'll have a bit of a chance actually to put things up on the uh, internet. Okay, this is Balcamp. If you've uh, enjoyed that or found that useful, you might want to see some of the other films that I have done here, walking around with stacks of other people, or you can see the films where I've done when there's nobody on the stand, you've got a bit of music, or something like that. Anyway, so uh, I hope you'll, uh, hope you'll subscribe or, or whatever.